Yu-Gi-Oh! is a constantly evolving game. We began with cracking packs and building with what we had, though in recent years, singles have become significantly more accessible and changed the way we build decks. However, Mario and I, we are going back to the basics. Each week, 1v1 sealed only. We are allotting ourselves $60 Canadian each episode and singles are forbidden. The goal is to be the first to win 25 matches and whoever does so will receive a full case from their opponent. $1,000 of product is on the line. You're watching Sealed Only 1v1. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new episode of Sealed Only 1v1 this week, episode 17, and potentially the final episode. We need 10 to win. Mario is at 9. I am at 7. I feel like I'm in an okay place though. When the series began, Mario started with quite the lead. He had a much more complete engine with the Light Swarms and the Cyber Dragon decks. It was admittedly Cyber Twin beatdown for like the first six weeks. Though in the later half, we were able to start coming back. And that, that is what gives me confidence. In the later half, We've been able to win a lot more. We've been able to go on more streaks. Though, it's worth noting, I'm actually not opening anything at all. I was going to open the Legendary Dex 2 to complete the Dragoon package. However, I'm $10 short. And it's also worth noting, we are still going to go into a deck edit. I'm going to draw up two Effect Veilers because I feel like they just don't do enough anymore. And I'm going to be putting in two previously polled Nibirus. I didn't incorporate them earlier because at that point, Mario wasn't consistently summoning five times in a turn, but he is now. And it is a very, very strong card, especially in a sealed format. So hopefully that makes a big difference. Hopefully we can make it to the next episode. Episode. I'm not I'm not too far behind again we've had a real comeback in the later half of the series and if it is the final time that we get to sit down here together have these chats I, I would like to say a big thank you to you for being a part of the community for following the journey it has been so much fun I've loved the community interaction and I um I also love that I've had just an opportunity to see Mario over the last year and uh a time and a space where that isn't super common so thank you to everybody if it is the end and if it isn't well that's great and i will talk to you next week but maybe not we'll see what happens and we're gonna throw it on over to mario well last week was pretty successful because we did win our ninth match one more win. All we need, we just need one more match. In order to secure such a win, I really want to go back to the Megatons. I just want Alpi. <laughs> if we get Alpi, then at least if we lose this week, a whole world of opportunity does open for us. We start with a Guard Dragon Prominence, World Legacy Mardark, Amapura, Neospace Connector, Marincess Current, Dark Factory and More Production, Time Thief Winders are super, Marincess Blue Slug is our other super, Romulus is not bad, not bad. Uh, Gizmic, that's another one, Witchcrafter Masterpiece is poo poo, and a collaboration. On to the next one. So we did get Romulus. Uh, this would be great if we had Dragon Shrine. <laughs> Dragoonity anything, really. But we don't. Got Basilisk, Evil Eye, Adana Wrestler, Ampello, Morch Slag, Avalianix, Gladiator Beast Comeback, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Uh, Atorix, another GB. Cool, cool. Whitefish Salvage. I've never seen this card in my life. It's fish support. Okay. Zev Zezreal, Lily the Evil Eyed. Monstrosity, okay, well, that's uh, not an LP, nope. Uh, a Medusa of the Evil Eye, and um, more Marincess, Marvel Rock, and just uh, Poo Poo. Last pack of the case of Megatins. There better be an LP. There, Diamond Wrestlers, all right, more Marincess, a Salomon Great Pyro, more Gladiator Beast Charge, Rogue Mandemian, Gladiator Reduction, there better be an LP, right? Now. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right, chat. YouTube. 
We're good. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got we got LP. Very nice. We got could have been Dragoon. All right. <laughs> <laughs> good pack chat, YouTube. Good job. Can you even imagine a world where the last pack of the case had LP and a safer in it? Let's move on to the next product, which is Soul Fusion. In our two special editions today, we're really just trying to pull a Thunder Dragon Hawk and a Thunder Dragon Dark. A Titan would be cool and a Levionaire would be cool. Got Cotton Eater, World Wand, Predoplast. Oh, Titan, let's go to go with the Thunder Dragon Fusions. Why not? And yeah, great. Well, our Thunder Dragon Fusion is live, ladies and gentlemen. We got the Titan. So this is really tempting because it outs Dragoon, which isn't a problem this week. It's a problem next week. Until Mobile and Arms are needed, once again, wrestling, World Wand, no freaking way. Two secrets, one special ed? Oh shit. I honestly can't believe we're 17 episodes in and I haven't had a levy near until right now. This is a big boost to Chaos Light Swords. I can rip a card if I go first, I can blow up two cards, I can bring back a monster, and we can search it with Chaos Space. We got three more packs left to open, maybe we'll pull that Thunder Dragon Hawk. Even though we only have one dark, if we pull Hawk, I'll settle and we'll just play Thunder Dragon Phantom Knight Dragon Light Swarm today. Yep. Can we go three for three with an Invincibility Barrel, an Elemental Eagle, a Gift, Gaptera? Okay, well, we couldn't go three for three, but can we really complain? I don't think so. Ah, uh, Pank starts off the next special ed. I don't know if we'll play it, but it's a good pull. Jack Jaguar, Bookstone, Vector Blast. All right, nothing here. Got more wrestling. Noble Arms needed. Jack Jaguar. Parallel Panzer, Morgan, ew. All right. Last pack, Predoplast, a gift, Emerald Eagle, and Herald of the Abyss. All right, that's it. We can't complain. We've gone like three or four weeks now without pulling a single card, and now we're going to do a deck edit. We're actually doing a deck edit this week. I don't even know what I'm gonna do. So between our main and extra deck today, we are swapping a total of 12 cards. We're turning this deck into Dangerous Dragon Phantom Knight Light Sworn. Yep. Yep, deck. I feel very confident that I can win this week. Especially since he didn't put in Dragoon. Because <laughs> over budget sealed product. Ha! <laughs> Anyway, I feel very confident we can win right now. So let's see if we can make it happen, guys. But well, let's go. Let's go. Seven. Seven. Round two. Eight. Nine. Damn. I will go second. All right. Best of luck. To you too. Well, we'll start with charge. Milling, Brotar, Minerva. Gloves. Charge is fine. We're gonna grab Lumina. And then Minerva is gonna activate. Let me middle card. Interesting. You can get use of that. Let's go charge number two. Double charge! Okay. Out of shame. <laughs> oh, that's better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay. I'm gonna add Lumina to my hand, and then I'm gonna summon Wolf. So, uh, kind of a rocky start for you, eh? Yeah, just a bit. Normal summon Lumina? Normal summon is fine. I'll use the effect discarding Raiden, target Raiden. I will chain Imperm and hope you do not have a collection of extenders. Hmm, okay. I'm going to activate Ragged Gloves. Right, Foolish Burial. Silent Boots, Silent Boots will activate. Yeah. Grabbing me Fog Blade. Cycling through, nice negate. Thank you. I'm gonna set two back row and pass. Actual Lights Run board. Yes. Very cool. We're playing Lights Horns, I don't know if you're... <laughs> okay. Start the turn. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm saying. We'll follow that up with a Cyber Emergency. Yep. Adding Cyber Dragon Core from deck to hand. Sure. Now we'll normal summon said core and yep. attempt to use effect. You're fine. 
adding repair plant from deck to hand. Now we will get the core in the grave so the repair plant is live and go into Al Mirage. Mm -hmm. From there, fire off the repair plant. Yep, yep. Adding secret rare Galaxy Soldier. We will reveal Galaxy. Mm -hmm. Discarding Jizakira. Mm -hmm. Special summon, activate effect. Yep. Adding ultra rare Galaxy Soldier. Mm hmm. That's fine. Reveal second soldier. Discard Nashter. Special summon. Now I will overlay both soldiers for Nova. And I need the two Siders engraved, so we're gonna go straight into Infinity. Now, hard activate. Overload fusion. Glued to my hand, banishing the Nashter and Corp. So you opened Imperm Duster Emergency Overload Fusion. I am the protagonist. But so are you. Double charge. Imperm, Pog Blade, Wolf and Illumina? Pro Winston would be so proud. Okay, man. You proceed with your 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 your, uh, your game. I just want you to know, if it's not pro, it's got to go. Okay. Special summon rampage. Sure. And we we'll use its effect ascend. Hers and core, hers will add back core. Cyber Dragon Infinity, Steel Wolf, and we will enter battle. We'll start by swinging with 2900 Infinity. Sure. On Destruction, I'm gonna activate Brotar's effect to special summon from Graveyard. I will negate with Infinity. Oh, good, okay, and then that's game. Yeah, that's boom, boom, rampage boom. three times. All right, game two. Damn. Didn't even need the calculator. <laughs> All right, you're going first this time. Yeah. I bricked super bad. Start by revealing Galaxy Soldier. Sure. Discarding hers. Yep. Special summon, effect, effect. We're going to add Galaxy and Cyber Dragon. Reveal Galaxy Soldier. Discarding Sidra, special summon. Now, overlay the good old Nova. We will detach. Sure. And special summon hers in attack mode. Now we will overlay into infinity. Absorb. Okay. I feel like I'm playing Zodiac. Zeus? <laughs> Zeus? Oh, could you imagine? Oh my god. Nadir, can you imagine? Can you imagine what Zeus would do to a, a sealed format? I'm sure he can. Card is so unfair. Matt, Sam, the last three weeks you haven't beat me with anything except this card. This is what's been carrying you, dude. It's so We're uh, going to set to oh, great. and say go ahead. Okay, well, let's draw. YouTube, hey, uh, so this hand happened. Uh, yep, this was my sixth card, which does nothing against infinity in two back rows. We're gonna set a monster, and we're gonna set a back row, and it's your turn. I feel really bad about this, but on end phase, we oh. will MST. Draw for turn. <laughs> I feel so bad. Ah. The core? Yes. You are good. We will, in fact, add Cyber Dragon core. Okay. Normal summon, said Cyber Dragon Core, and activate effect. Okay. MST in my Fog Blade. Which would have been negated by Infinity anyway. Yep. Yep. We will add Cyber Rev System. I'm not gonna lie, the deck's uh, kinda going burr this week. You think? <laughs> activate Rev System, bring back Cyber Dragon, and we'll link the two into Cyber Dragon Seeger. And let me guess, you opened over the fusion again. Two games in a row. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're yeah. fine. When you're not really fine, yeah. you just can't get into it because they would never understand. When I tell you I am genuinely sorry, I need you to know I mean it. Special summon Rampage, and we use its effect. Sending hers and core, adding back core. Now we will enter the phase of battle. Yep, yep, battle. We are going to boost Rampage with Seeger. Yep. And then we'll swing in with Seeger. Sure thing. Rocket Synchron, Phantom Knight, Rockets. Yeah. 
Infinity for 27. Okay. And then game, game. Game, game. Game, game. Game, game. I am really sorry. What did you have? Oh, <laughs> both baby dragons and the searcher for them. That's awful. I'm sorry. There, there, there was no chance. If this was still Raiden, I maybe would have milled two. Oh, another one? Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, good games. Enjoy your quick editing. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so if you won this week, I had to buy you a case, but now I'm one win away from tying you up, I think. It's stressful. It is a little stressful. Yeah, I. <laughs> you're still ahead, but I feel like I'm catching up. So we were able to guarantee at least one more episode of the series, and next week we do get the Dragoon. I am only one down, and I am looking to tie it up. That said, Mario's combos are actually pretty wild. He's going to have a combo video up over on his channel for when he doesn't draw dead, and he'll also tease what he's opening in the next episode, I believe, which is going to be incredibly broken. So the series continues. Thank you for hanging in there, and with that, as per usual, check out my Twitter, give the video a like, subscribe if you haven't, and we will see you next week with a brand new episode of Sealed Only 1v1. Peace and love.